Hidden History is brought to you by G2A.com and our supporters at Patreon. When Telltale's The Walking Dead made its debut in April of 2012, it immediately caused a seismic shift in both Telltale and the gaming industry itself. It changed how the company created games and, in general, how the adventure game genre was viewed. A lot of time had passed since the heyday of classic adventure titles like The Secret of Monkey Island and King's Quest, and, sadly, many saw the genre as outdated and no longer profitable. The Walking Dead changed that, all while establishing Telltale as a storytelling powerhouse. When talking about the development of the game, Dan Connors, the co-founder of Telltale, gave us an insight into what made it feel so unique. According to him, the initial idea to include branching dialogue was inspired by the Mass Effect series, but he also believed that his team had the opportunity to improve on it, saying, Traditional dialogue trees don't present a believable rhythm to a conversation, and making it a task to exhaust dialogues. Moving away to a more natural dialogue system was huge for us. The team also knew that the gameplay would not amount to much unless it was backed up by great writing. For this, Telltale did not look to other games when trying to develop their characters and story. Instead, they took their cues from television, citing Mad Men, Game of Thrones and of course The Walking Dead show and comic book as things they looked to emulate while writing. They also got help from The Walking Dead co-creator Robert Kirkman, who liked the company immediately, saying he respected how they emphasised decision making and consequences rather than ammunition gathering or jumping over things. Of course, all of that wouldn't have mattered without protagonists worth becoming invested in. Thankfully though, Clementine and Lee proved to be just as compelling as the characters in the comics and TV franchise. Since the release of the first Walking Dead game, fans and critics have often cited the game's player character, Lee Everett, as one of the major reasons for its success. Some even go so far as to say he's a better character than Rick Grimes himself. It may be surprising to learn then that the creation of Lee didn't start until, well, after a lot of other things in the game had already been written. According to game designer and writer Sean Vanneman, Lee Everett wasn't even Telltale's initial idea for a main character. Originally, the team planned for Clementine to come from a single parent home where Clementine's brother took care of her due to her mother being unable to. In this version of the game, Clementine's brother would have been the lead, but Vanneman decided that he didn't want the characters to have pre-existing relationships. Instead, he wanted the leads to get to know each other as a player was getting to know them as well. This inspired them to create Lee as a substitute for Clementine's older sibling. And that decision led to a few other changes as well including Clementine's race. At first the character was going to be Caucasian, but the team changed this because they wanted her to look like she could potentially be Lee's daughter. Speaking of Clementine, you may be surprised to learn that even though she's now a popular and beloved character, Telltale was very nervous about her during development, knowing just how easy it is to get a kid character wrong. According to Vanneman, getting people internally excited about it was really challenging. There's no kid I can point to in a video game and say, it's just going to be like that person, don't worry about it. Eventually though, he managed to get the company on board. People recognised the hurdle set forth by deciding there's going to be this little girl that's going to be a key feature of the game, but people kept saying yes anyway. And it paid off, resulting in what may be the best child character in video game history. Vanneman wasn't the only person to have a big impact on the creation of Clementine. Just as important was the game's art director, Derek Sakai. In fact, the character's look was almost entirely inspired by his five-year-old daughter. According to Sakai, she has a crazy sense of fashion that oddly translates well into the world of The Walking Dead. My daughter won't accept advice from anyone when it comes to her outfits. For example, she'll combine her favourite dress with her older brother's baseball cap and then refuse any shoes at all. Clementine doesn't have parents to tell her what to wear, so her outfits needed to reflect a child's idea of appropriate clothing. And with that, Clementine's signature baseball hat was born. Vanneman has also said that he turned to Sakai a lot while writing the character, trying to get advice from someone with children about how Clementine would talk. This actually led the character to speaking a lot less because, according to Sakai, the less my kids talk, the smarter I think they are. 
Even after all the hard work the team put into writing the characters, they knew that creating a believable bond between them was absolutely essential to the game's success. Melissa Hutchison, the voice of Clementine, says that she was especially nervous about this. The whole backbone of the story is the relationship between Lee and Clementine, and the choices Lee makes in order to protect Clementine. If Clementine came off as annoying, people would be trying to find the button that sends her straight into a herd of walkers. Thankfully, the strength of the writing and performances made sure that didn't happen. So because this was our first ever Walking Dead episode, we don't have a comment showcase this week. If you'd like to see more though, you can always like, subscribe and share this video around, and maybe even comment. And your comment could be featured in a future episode of this show. We do still have a trivia question for you though. Last week we asked you a massive question, and most of you got it. It was B, the Rachniors, which I'd like to apologise for my mispronunciation of. This week's question may be a bit harder though. Early on in the first Walking Dead game, Lee and Clementine's encounter of Kenny, Katya and Duck, a family who tells them they are from what American city? A. Atlanta, Georgia B. Sunnydale, California C. Prim, Nevada or D. Fort Lauderdale, Florida Tell me your answer in the comment section below and while you're down there, why don't you tell me your favourite character from the Walking Dead Telltale series that's not Clementine or Lee? Your favourite character, just be honest. <laughs>